how you can insert a Google document uh, as an embedded file. That means when students open an assignment or you could have it on a page, this is what they see automatically. This is a little bit more complicated and it's going to look scarier than it actually is. You're going to have to think back to your MySpace days if you're um, from that generation where you had everything posted. And you're going to have to come right over here to this HTML editor. Don't let this scare you and think that you're having to code. So I'm going to post in the comments or the description of this video um, the link that I'm pasting here. So with this um, link, you're going to need to insert the file from your Google Doc in this part right here. So I'm going to delete. If you see the HTTP your Google Doc here, address, preview, you see the um, parentheses. You are going to have to insert your um, Google Docs address here, but it's not the normal sharing one. So let me show you. Um, I have my uh, test document right here. Okay, so you see my image. This is in Google Docs. You're going to come over here to File and Publish to the Web. You need to do publish to the web. If you don't do this step, you're not going to be able to share it. So if you see this embed, you can actually put this in there, but it's going to create a very small window. What I recommend is you come to link for publish to web link. You're going to copy this. Come back over to our document. And then remember this HTTP, your Google Doc, between these parentheses. It has to be between the two. You're just pasting that document's code. That's it. Then you are done. You can come back over here to Rich Content Editor and you'll see that it is in here. So if you've done this, you can click right up here and you can write your directions for the document whatever you wanted to tell students what they need to do, and then you finish making your assignment or your page, whatever you are. Now we're going to save. Save. So this is what it looks like. I'm not going to go into why you have to do it that way to get the right size, but um, I hope that is helpful. I'm going to paste that um, link. Think back to MySpace when you would just copy the HTML code and then paste it in. Um, it's really not that complicated, uh, and I hope that helps you. All right.